It is indeed an extremely proud and privileged day for us here today that the vision that was set out, as has been explained by my colleagues a little earlier, more than a decade ago has come to fruition. Further, in a span of just about 12 months, from groundbreaking to actually getting a finished product out, and that too with world-class acceptable qualities, I would argue is no mean achievement. So I, th I think it is extremely significant and worth recognizing that we as a country have now matured and graduated to a stage where we can make most of the immense opportunity that the global aerospace industry has to offer to us. I'd again go back to the point that more than a decade ago, Mr. Tata saw this opportunity, took the group to a point where we invested in the opportunity. And mind you, when we talk about aerospace and manufacturing in aerospace, it is the highest end of technology. Learning in this area doesn't come overnight. It takes time. And we have been at this process now in the larger scheme of doing various systems, components, etc., in the aerospace field for more than five to seven years now. As a consequence, I think the Tata Boeing gets to the point where we are now a part of a global supply chain and are able to establish the credibility. In this context, I'd like to make three quick points. First, the aerospace industry is indeed a massive opportunity, and even India offers a substantial opportunity, both from a commercial aerospace side as well as from the defense side. In order to exploit it, we have now the necessary skills, the wherewithal, and the willingness to invest capital. And we would be more than happy to, to expedite those investments as soon as we see the decisions that are being made by the government to proceed in the area of aerospace. Second, when we talk about skills and jobs, I think it's also important to talk about the quality of jobs. In the context of aerospace, the quality of jobs that are created, not just within the facility, but also downstream through the SME value chain, is indeed extremely high, and in turn builds an ecosystem of people who are extremely talented, innovative, can think by themselves, and then further go on into the rest of the industry to create even larger ecosystem. I would argue that the time has now come for us to grab the global supply chain, to grab the opportunity and make the most of it, given the, the, the immense area of opportunity that India presents and the world also presents. I'd like to just conclude by saying, Honorable Raksha Mantri, we indeed thank you for your presence over here. I think it indeed means a lot to us. Mr. Tata, you saw this dream a decade ago, and now you're seeing this as fruition. And Mr. K.T. Ramarao, I think, so you have made sure that the entire ecosystem over here supports projects to be built on time, in fact, ahead of time, facilitating the ease of doing business, and it is indeed a pleasure for us to be invested over here. Thank you very much here, indeed.